G'day guys, my name is Drake from Fire Pants Fabrication. I often get asked how to program variable speed drives, so I thought I'd put together a quick video just to show everyone how I do it. Now every manufacturer is going to be slightly different, um, but the principle in the program is the same throughout. It's really quite simple once you get your head around it, and I'm just going to show you how I program these ones. These are a Tico E510. Um, Let's get into it. For um, particular drive, um, this is a Tico drive. All the Tico stuff is available on their website. Um, you find the model that you've got. This is the E510. Um, find the download section and then instruction manual. Download the instructions and you end up with about 200 pages of information. So. Um, once you've got it all set up, when well, when it comes to programming, all you're going to want to do is go straight to the programming menu. Now this one starts off, it tells you, this one's set up in 15 different groups, and in that you've got different subgroups within them. So I'll just give you a rundown on what it all looks like. There's a huge amount of information, huge amount of settings, to give you an idea. This is all just the programming. Yeah, that's what that's up to nine. About halfway through. Fifteen. So that's the end of it. It does go into more information about what each function does after the programming, but I've already read through that, so I'll save you the boring part. Um, Basically what I do is I go through, whenever I set up with a new drive, I'll just have a quick skim over all of the settings that are available, and then I work out which ones I'm going to want to change and which ones I can leave at a factory setting. Um, factory settings are excellent when you don't want to change about well, probably 300 different items. So let's go back up to the start. There we go. All right. So this is this is how it comes up on the screen. So if we looked at the um, the first menu, it gives us the group group zero zero, group zero one, zero two, blah blah blah, all the way down. So group zero zero is basic parameters. So within group zero zero, which is there, hope you can see this all right. Um, you then have, so that's all zero, zero. Terrible mouse work, anyway. Um, then within that, your sub-menu is the next set of numbers. So zero, 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 one, the reserve, there's nothing but zero, one. O two, o three, o four, 2, 4, so on, so forth. So each of those represent another part of the menu. So if you were to go into 0000, zero, zero, zero um, that gives you the control mode, which is a choice between variable frequency mode, which is your standard, and vector mode, which is one of the reasons I went for these uh, variable speed drives. So within, within this menu, you'll either have a 0 or you'll have a 1. If you have a zero, it represents that you're in variable frequency mode. If you have a one, it represents you're in vector mode. Then you go across to the factory setting column. That's on zero. So the factory setting for this drive, how it comes out of a box, is zero, which means you're in variable frequency, which is quite a, it's a, quite a basic mode. Um, what we're going to do is change it to a one. So I'll go through how I do that in a minute. But basically, you just need to have a have a read through, and usually it's in the first few groups where you make most of your changes, and that just um, sets up how you use the drive. Zero one has nothing. Zero two is the the main run command, which basically means you start and you stop button. After you've gone through the list on your manual and you worked out what settings you want to change, which ones you want to leave alone, 
run leave as many alone as you can. Um, I write out a bit of a list and it just gives me a short list, quick and easy, just the ones I want to change. So I just go straight to them, deal with it and try it out, see how it goes. That's the control panel of the Tico drive. Um, so what I'll do first up is I'll do a complete reset, so it's all factory settings, and then I'll run through how to change it from there. So to get into the menu, um, what we do is push the DSP FUN, FUN means function, so we push that, and it comes up straight away with double zero, zero, zero. So now we know that we're in our menu setting, um, what we need to do is use the up and down keys and the, the left arrow to scroll until we get to uh, 1308, which is, our, which is our factory reset setting. Um, so we use the across button, um, we go right across, we'll set that to across again, up to 13. Then we go 08, so we'll just go up eight times. Okay, quite simple. Then you push the enter button. That comes up with four zeros. So I already looked up what the code was. Um, they have different codes because they have different basic parameters. So the code for a 240 volt, 50 hertz system is 1150. So zero. Use the cross button because it's quicker. You can just scroll through, but it takes a very long time. So make that five. That's a one. That's a one. So one one five zero. That's what I've got on my sheet to reset. And we'll hit enter. It says end. End means that it's it's accepted a uh, new setting. So let's just push the the function button again. We'll go back out of the menu. And it's set, it's set at 5. So I'll explain how we got the number we had before, 2400 or something or other. That was belt speed. So the factory setting shows us in hertz. So it's set up to run at 5 hertz. You see, using the dial here, it does nothing. So that's something we have to change. If we use the start button. Yep, it starts. And it stops. So we know these buttons are working, but this isn't. So we've got to find the setting for that. All right, we'll go back down in the menu. We'll go back to the very start. All right, so look on here. The first setting I want to change is double zero, double zero. So we push enter, change that to one. That was to change from variable frequency to uh, vector mode. Um, so we push enter, it says end, means that it's accepted that setting. Um, next we've got 0, 0, 0, 5, lots of zeros. Push enter, we want 1 for that as well. That one tells us the frequency source. So after we change that, this knob should work. Um, from memory, when that's set at 0, it's for um, using up and down buttons on the keypad. Uh, number one is changing it from the up and down button to this, the, to your potentiometer. Um, two would be an external, three is the secondary external, um, and then there's computer controls and, and there's five or so different sources you can use for that. So number one, that's all we need. So then go back so we can show you here. There we go. So now that we've got control here, then the maximum there is 50. So that's not high enough, we like to grind fast. So we'll go to the next setting, which is 0012, um, that's at 50. So that's what we expected it to be at, that's the factory setting, but we're going to make that 100. So use your left hand arrow, Make that 100. Enter, it says end. We'll double check it. So we turn it right up and we're at 100. Turn it all the way down, we're at 0. So, so far so good. Let's go into it again. 
um, 13 is the setting for minimum speed. So we're going to change that to, I'll make that 10. Really suffers in performance when it's under 10. Even at 10 it's, it's as slow as I want to go. Um, it's your grinder, you can set it to whatever you want if you want to go slower, but it's, it really doesn't do very much. So we hit enter, um, we can double check it again. As we slide down as it goes, so we've got 10 to 100. Okay, um, I'm just going to run through, without talking too much, um, the rest of the settings. Um, just to give you an idea here, we're going to change the acceleration, the deceleration, um, then we're going to put in the motor spec, so the amp draw, um, the, the rated RPM, input voltage and the number of poles because I know that they're different to what the factory setting was. Um, and then at the end we're going to change the display mode um, so we're showing a value and that value will be the feet per minute of the belt. So that's just the last little section in, in, in menu 12. So I'll just run through and change the rest of them. Anyone that does buy one of these drives off me um, they are all programmed how I showed you, so you don't have to do that yourself unless you want to change things around, reset things, whatever, that's fine. Um, but I set them I set them up, program them all, so you shouldn't have to stuff around with them um, if you don't want to. And we are all good to go. So what we've got here, we've changed it to show belt speed. So that was 10 hertz. Now it now says 709. That's 100 hertz. 7092. Um, push the just the function display button again. Brings us through to the menu. Push it again, and it'll tell us how many amps the motor's drawing. So that gives us an idea if we're putting excess load on the motor, so start it up. Not even a belt on it, so it's running nice and low. Two and a half amps, nothing. Okay. The start-stop buttons work. Um, it accelerates, it decelerates. Um, yeah, we can adjust any of it we like, but this is a, a nice setting to get you going. Once again, if you do run into trouble, um, you can you can just go straight back to um, uh, the reset menu. Which was thirteen zero eight. And you set that to 1150 for this machine. They're all different, they'll, they'll have a few different options. There's usually a 110 or 120 volt um, 50 hertz and 110 volt 60 hertz. For Australia, 240 volt or 220 to 240, um, anything in that range. And 50 hertz is what our power supply is, so that's what we set it to. Thanks so much for watching this video guys. I hope you learnt something. I hope it works for you. Um, I hope you can program your drive after this. Uh, you can change whatever you need to. I always just advise, just write down your settings before you change something and know how to reset it. There's usually one function to reset them and then you just start, put all your settings in again and you're back to where you started. So if worst comes to worst, you can always go back to that. If you liked what you see, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, it really helps. Um, wait for my next video. Thank you very much.